Hey there, my name is Gabe, I'm with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about Facebook lead ads. Facebook lead ads are a great strategy if you're looking to quickly fill up your database with leads that you can follow up with in KV Core. We're gonna talk about what a Facebook lead ad is, how you can set it up, what the difference is between a Facebook lead ad and a squeeze page or a landing page, sort of the strengths and weaknesses of each, and then how you can set up that Facebook lead ad so it syncs the lead from Facebook as they click it, it goes right into KV Core. And we do that through API Nation. And the last thing we'll talk about are a few advanced strategies we've learned from agents who've used this integration and used Facebook lead ads with KV Core. So let's get started. Facebook lead ads are normal Facebook ads with a nice added feature. There's a button here at the bottom of the ad that when the user taps it or clicks it, it automatically submits their information to you. So oftentimes they don't even have to type any of their information in. Facebook will just go ahead and send over the name, the phone, the email that they have on file. If you add some extra questions like what kind of house they're looking for or their pet's name or something like that, they'll have to type that information in. But the standard first name, last name, email, phone number, Facebook will autofill that stuff and send it right to you, no problem. It creates a nice seamless interaction for the user. They don't have to bumble around filling out fields just to talk to you about being their real estate agent. Another popular strategy is the squeeze page. And you can actually build these in KV Core. There's an awesome tool to build beautiful squeeze pages. There's some great strengths to each of these. Like I said with the Facebook lead ads, they're really easy to set up, but more importantly, they're easy for the users to submit. The user doesn't have to fill anything out most of the time. They just click the button and say okay, and it sends the information to you. That means the data is more often accurate using the Facebook lead ads because it's the information Facebook has on file. The squeeze pages are great, but if somebody clicks through your ad, lands on your squeeze page, and wants the information from the page but doesn't want to give you their information, they can type whatever they want into that name, email, phone number. It doesn't have to be valid, it just has to look like a valid email or phone number. So you can get a lot of Porky Pigs or Bugs Bunnies or Michael Jordans um, that you pay for. The last thing is the Facebook lead ads are really quick and easy to set up on Facebook. And squeeze pages, they take a little bit more time to set up, but as you can see, it's a little bit more branded experience. They're gonna get your face more often in front of them while they're filling out the information about their ad. So those are some of the differences. If you are trying to quickly fill up a database, you're not gonna beat a Facebook lead ad. If you want some leads with higher intent, some people that are willing to toggle around a website for a little bit and fill out a form, squeeze pages are the way to go. All right, let's go ahead and set up some Facebook lead ads. There's a few things we have to do. We need to set up a Facebook business page, create a Facebook instant form, create a Facebook lead ad, and then we're gonna set up that sync from Facebook to KV Core. So first, let's go to Facebook. Here we are on Facebook. So the first thing you wanna do is set up that business page. To do that, you're just gonna come up here to the top area. You can see there's all these icons along the top. You're gonna to click this plus, and you're gonna create a page. And here you're gonna fill in your page name, the category, and the description. For category, I would just search for something real estate if you're a real estate company, real estate agent, real estate service, whatever you feel best describes you or your team. For the page name and the description, I would be sure to mention whatever you are trying to set up as your brand. So if it's you and your name, make sure that is in the page name, make sure that's in the description. If that's what you're telling people to look for, to find you, uh, make sure that is everywhere in the page name and description. If it's your brokerage name, instead choose that. If it's your team name, make sure that's in the page name in the description. Whatever it takes to make it easy for people on Facebook to quickly find you and separate you out from the hundreds of thousands of other real estate agents on Facebook. So once you do that, you'll just add a page and the more information you can add about yourself, the easy it is for people to find you. All right, so we've set up our business page. Step two, set up that instant form. So to do that, I'm gonna head back over to Facebook and you can see if you wanted to check out your pages, you can just click on this pages and you can see the pages you've just created, any pages you've created in the past. But to set up the instant forms, I'm actually gonna click this business suite 
link and it's going to take me out to business Facebook. And there's a bunch of different things you can do here. You can schedule posts for your page. You can set up ads. You can go through insights. I am going to go down here to more tools. And that is where instant forms live. So what we're doing is we're creating a form that all my ads are going to use. Basically, it's just a form that says first name, last name, email, phone number. That way, whenever I create an ad, I say, these are the four things I want from this user uh, to create a lead in KB Corp. And you can add more questions if you'd like, but those four questions are, are pretty standard and they'll give you a good start on following up on that lead. So if you have no forms set up yet, just hit this create form button. You can create a new form and just title it something you'll remember. Maybe I want to create a seller form. Answer the questions that Facebook feeds you and you'll go through here. You can type some stuff for the intro, add an image, uh, whatever you use as kind of your background image on your Facebook page would be great. You'll type a little greeting and a description, just something that says, just something that gives them a little context of who you are and what they're filling out. And then questions are the important thing. So you see there's custom questions which you can ask, like uh, what kind of square footage they're looking for, what price range they're looking in, uh, when they would like to move if they're a seller, that kind of information. Uh, but there's pre-filled questions, and this stuff is really great because it's coming straight from Facebook. So you can see email, full name. I'm actually going to go through and add uh, phone number. And I'm going to get rid of full name and add first name and last name because that's how KV Core files them. They don't have a full name field. They have a first name and a last name. And these are pre-filled, so it's just going to pull it right from Facebook and pop it in there. So you go through here, just post the link to the privacy policy for your brokerage, your team, and complete it. You can just write a nice little thank you note, letting them know you'll be in touch. And that is it. That is your form. So that's it. We've set up the business page. We've created our instant form. Now we would just create our Facebook lead ad. So I'm going to go back to Facebook. We are still in the business area and I'm going to come down here to ads. And here we're just going to create an ad. And I'm going to come down here to get more leads. And I want to get it from a form on your website or a form on Facebook. I'm going to choose the form on Facebook. That way the information comes over real quick. Hit next. And I'm just going to choose that saved form I just created. And you can see it mocks up whatever you have added in here. So the image you put up, the questions you've added, it's all going to mop it up on the right hand side. So you can take a look at it. If you like, you can go ahead and create a new form right now. We just created that form a step ago. So we're going to use that and hit next and now it's just a matter of adding the copy and images maybe video to your Facebook ad so that you get the most leads the most interest using your ad so you'll just go through and fill out choose single image video slideshow videos have been really popular we've gotten a lot of engagement with our videos and then you just type in the headline the text choose the call to action. They give you a few great ideas and you just choose whichever one you think is best for your app. You go with learn more. And then you can choose your audience. So you can choose people who are interested in real estate. You can upload a custom audience. There's a ton of great videos on YouTube all about choosing the great audience for your Facebook ads. Duration and budget, totally up to you. I've heard a lot of people get great results with $5 a day. They'll get a lot of great leads, enough that they can follow up with and stay busy. It obviously depends on your market, but you'll go through all that and you will create your Facebook lead ad. You can see once you've created it, it's gonna be in review, which is totally normal. Most Facebook ads will go through a review just to make sure it meets all the standards. And I would say 90% of them pass, 10% of them uh, get sent back to you and they'll tell you exactly why. It's usually something very easy to fix. And that's it. You have created your Facebook lead ad using your Facebook form for your Facebook business page. So here we are. We're on the final step. API Nation Sync to KV Core. 
And what that is, is when you get the lead filled out on Facebook, it'll get synced right into KV Core so you can immediately start following up with it. Let me show you how to set that up. Here we are in KV Core. I'm gonna hop in here, and here near the bottom on the left-hand side is a Marketplace icon. I'm gonna click on that. And that has all the integrations for KV Core. A lot of great time-saving tools in here. API Nation has created a bunch of these, including MailChimp, Constant Contact, Google Sheets. And here you see that Facebook Lead Ads tool. So I'm gonna click Learn More. And you can read a little bit more about it. We have a video here if you want more help setting it up. Um, but I'm gonna click Add to KV Core. And that will take me out to API Nation. And setting up this integration is so easy. That's what we do at API Nation. We make sure the integrations you use are easy to set up. You're just gonna sign into KV Core. So this is the email or username and password you use to sign into KV Core. Then it's gonna ask you to sign into Facebook or if you've already connected Facebook on API Nation, you can just choose that account. I'm gonna click this button to connect Facebook. It's gonna take you out to Facebook. If you're signed in on the browser, it'll go ahead and detect that. If you're not, it'll just ask you to sign into Facebook. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm already signed into Facebook. I've been on Facebook earlier today. And that's it. I've connected KV Core. I've connected Facebook. The last part is just to select which business page is running the ad. So we created that ad for API Nation. And then select the form running on the ad. So we did stage form one. Don't forget what you named that form. Uh, seller form, buyer form, whatever you named it. When we created that instant form in Facebook, that's what it'll look like here and then hit Start Sync. And that's it. Now, anytime a user clicks an ad that's running that lead form, it's gonna get synced right into KV Core. You'll open up KV Core. You'll see all those new leads that are coming from that Facebook lead ad. So now we're all set. Let's talk about a few advanced strategies realtors have let us in on as we've helped them advertise on Facebook using the Facebook lead ad. So number one, we talked about it earlier. Make sure when you create that lead form, you set it up for first name and last name, not full name. There is no full name in the KV Core platform. If you get a lead that comes over with a full name, it's just gonna jam it all into the first name or the last name. So make sure when you create that lead form, you ask for a first name and a last name. Number two, add hashtags using the custom field sync in the API Nation. So let's go back to API Nation real quick. I'm gonna click on My Syncs. Here you can see that integration we just created, Facebook lead ads into KV Core. I'm gonna click on that. It gives you a few options here. You can take a look exactly what's going on. I'm gonna click on Configuration. And this screen will look pretty familiar. But here you'll see a few new options. You can now map things. So for example, I can see the phone number is not getting mapped over to phone. So I'm gonna click on phone number on the left-hand side, and then I'm gonna click phone on the right-hand side. That way the phone number that Facebook captures also gets sent into KV Core. And then that hashtag idea we just talked about, I'm gonna scroll down here to add custom field and call this hashtag. And I'm gonna add whatever hashtag I want so that any lead that comes through this form gets slapped with this hashtag as it enters KV Core. So I'm gonna use, you know, hashtag FBLA, Facebook lead ad. That way I know if a lead has this hashtag, it came from my Facebook lead ads. I click the custom field and then I click notes. That way it maps it up and now those hashtags are going into my notes. So that is the hashtag strategy. Two more things, set up a sync for each form. So all these syncs between Facebook lead ads and KV Core are totally free. You can set up as many of them as you want. You're gonna wanna make sure at the very least you have a sync set up for every form that you're running. Like I said, you can run many different ads using the same form 
But if you're using multiple forms, make sure there is a sync for each of those forms to KV Core. Just something to keep in mind as you start advertising more on Facebook. The last thing, really similar to the hashtag strategy, is you can specify the lead origin. So maybe, let's go back to API Nation. So I already have the hashtag saying FBLA, but maybe I want this hashtag to say something like, maybe be more descriptive of what kind of ads I'm running with this form. So let's call these seller ads on Facebook. So that way the hashtag that comes over is hashtag seller ads on Facebook. But I still wanna know they're coming from Facebook uh, because I can run marketing automations based on the lead source. So same thing, I'm gonna add another custom field, lead origin, and I'm gonna call this Facebook lead ad. Add field, and I'm gonna click and map that to lead origin. This just gives you more signals about the lead, where it's coming from, what ad was clicked on, so that you can better market to it using KV Core's awesome marketing automation. So now you can see hashtag is going to note, and the hashtag again is seller ad on Facebook. So I know it's a seller ad, and if I'm looking at the lead source, it'll say Facebook lead ad. Make sure to save it, and now any lead that comes over will have that new hashtag, and in addition, it'll have the lead source. Two final things. Inside KV Core, you're gonna to wanna to create a drip campaign based on lead origin. So I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna go into KV Core, and I'm gonna go over here to Marketing Autopilot. So you're gonna to wanna to create a smart campaign so that whenever somebody comes over with that lead origin Facebook lead ad, you can just hit Add Campaign, lead is new, from, and then you'll just type in Facebook uh, lead ad to find that source. And then you're just gonna go through and add all the emails, the text, the calls, everything you would normally schedule. But it's a really great way so that when somebody clicks your ad in Facebook, API Nation picks it up, sends it to KV Core, and then they start getting the text, the emails, and everything you have scheduled out to convert this ad that you've paid for and keep your business humming along. Another great thing you can do in the marketing autopilot is get an email or text when a hashtag comes through. So we have an example of that already set up here. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna look at Facebook new leads. That's a campaign we've set up. And basically what it does is when somebody comes over with, in this case, hashtag FBLA, but if I wanted, I could change this to seller lead from Facebook or whatever hashtag you have applied to the leads coming from Facebook. So when it sees that hashtag, it immediately sends an email from you to the person who clicked it so that the speed to lead is huge. Also, it's gonna email you. KV Core will email you, letting you know you have a new lead. And it'll also text you, letting you know you have a new lead. That way you can reach out, you can hop on a computer, you can see exactly what's going on. It's a great way to make sure those users who clicked your lead on Facebook, get immediately talked to, immediately followed up on. If you can follow up with them in the first five minutes, the conversion rate goes up 80% compared to even 10 minutes. So shooting that email over, shooting the text over, getting them on the phone is hugely important. That's it, that is how you use Facebook lead ads to quickly grow your database. If you have any questions, we're API Nation, we're connecting the world's applications. Shoot us an email, give us a phone call, we love doing this stuff.